And welcome back, guys, to the next part of our Ultima 7 The Black Gate playthrough. Holy crikey, guys, it's hot today. It's somewhere in the 80s, I'm sure. But I'm still drinking coffee. Coffee is our drink of choice today. Coffee. Hot and black. Alright, we need to go to Dungeon Deceit, which is just north of here. I was getting that confused with Dungeon Dester. Uh, the entrance is somewhere around here. This is Dungeon Deceit, I guess? But it seems very, uh, small. Wait, is this Dungeon Deceit? It seems... yes, yes, I think it is. And everyone's hungry already, guys. Um... Oh, I think the spider just killed the bat. Spider killed the bat that killed the rat. That was wearing a hat. Okay, so here we are, and uh, yeah, I, I remember this one being a little complicated. My memory is not so great. Okay. Uh, is this Dungeon Deceit, or is this something entirely different? This doesn't seem like Dungeon Deceit at all. It seems way too small. It seems just like a little tiny cave. But these guys will still fight me. Brigands! Wait, is somebody still alive? Yes. Yeah, enemies can actually end up like going into that this sort of blacked out, passed out phase. And when they do that, there's pretty much a... Uh, pretty much... they're pretty much dead but uh, they're technically still alive and in rare cases they can actually get back up and pose a threat. No, this is not Dungeon Deceit. I thought... let me see here. Oh, this must be Dungeon Deceit up here. Yeah, that makes sense because it's gotta be huge. Alright, I just got my new gaming keyboard, guys. I ended up settling on the Steel Series Merc Stealth. Uh, I decided that after somebody very wisely pointed out that you don't want a mechanical keyboard if you're going to be doing uh, playthroughs because no matter how far away that keyboard is from the microphone, you're going to hear that clickety-clack. The mechanical keyboard, um, if you guys remember the old school keyboards, how those used to sound? Yeah, just like that. That click, 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 click. Almost as bad as a typewriter. And what I'm thinking of doing, because I don't want to get this to be so tweaky on my wrist, because I... And, uh, suffering from possible carpal tunnel is I'm thinking of mapping the arrow keys to the WASD keys which are on the left of this keyboard. The Merc Stealth, if you look it up online, the Steel Series Merc Stealth has an actual gaming key set to the left of the QWERTY key set which has a separate set of like WASD controls, shift, uh, jump, space bar, all that kind of stuff is set up for like gaming specifically. It's very unique to this keyboard. If I set up a macro that made these WASD the arrow keys, I could actually move the avatar by, you know, using my left hand with the arrow keys instead of having to use the mouse all the time. But let's see, uh, I am going to use a walkthrough for this one. We're supposed to go through the uh, magically sealed doors. Again, unlock magic is a necessary spell in this game. Magic is required to beat this game. It's not optional. Let's save it, because this is not a friendly dungeon. This dungeon is deceptive. And let's make sure we're doing the right thing. Go through the magically locked door, and then through the left passage going up. Run past all the arrows, and then go up. Run past all the arrows. Come on, guys. Don't get hit by the arrows. Don't get hit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they're only hitting me. That's perfectly fine because I'm invincible thanks to the Isle of Fire. The Isle of Fire. 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 Gotta say that with a southern accent. Fire. Because this is America. Alright, um... Oh shoot, I just about spilled my coffee all over the place. That would have been a disaster. Okay. I'm gonna give my heart just a second to relax. Not that the coffee being spilled is such a big deal, it just it would have spilled directly onto my very expensive mouse. If you've ever seen my mouse from my videos, it's a ancient um, mouse that's been discontinued years, years ago. 
It's a Microsoft uh, Trackball Explorer, and it's one of the only mice I've seen where you actually click the buttons with your thumb. Your thumb clicks the right and left mouse buttons and uses the scroll wheel, and your fingers control the trackball, which I love. It's just awesome. Okay, continue up. Oh, uh, hang on. And go... Uh, go up. Take the left passage up and go through the wall. Through the wall. Aha, that's why it's deceit. Booyah. Alright. Uh-oh. Ghosties. I'm gonna let the ghosts come to me before I hit combat. I don't want my characters walking into any traps. Go past the door and go right through another wall. Help, help. Who's asking for help? Huh, that's weird. Am I following this pattern? Maybe I got off track from this guide here. It says, uh, take the left passage up and go through the wall. Continue up through the magically locked door. Take the top passage right to fight a dragon and get some treasure. Okay. We're gonna unlock this. Go right through the middle passage, go through the wall. Oh shoot, where do we go from here? Go right through the middle passage, it says. Wait, through the wall, through the wall, through the wall? Not through the wall, okay. Hmm, this leads outside. What's out here? A cyclops, perhaps? If I remember correctly, there is a cyclops in a cave. Or in an opening that comes out of a cave somewhere. Who? Uh oh. Oh crap. <laughs> I shouldn't have drank that. That's no good. Alright, so we're sleeping now and we're gonna wait till both my characters wake back up. Okay, this looks like this is not the way to go. There's our Cyclops. You see a large Cyclops that looks at you and blinks its eye in irritation. I am of the clan Ironheart, the eleventh son of Valador. They call me Iskander. My Cyclopean people say I'm a hero. Many of you humans say I'm a monster. No doubt the truth is somewhere in between. 189 years ago, I slew the seven Gazer princes when they used their magic to steal the eye from the leader of our tribe. But such things are now ancient history and are no longer of any consequence. That's right. Goodbye. He's got some friendly deer there, which I'm sure he slaughters for meat. Alright. Okay, this is not the way to go. It's always funny when my characters are yelling to the death while fighting bats. Like, the bats care, or can even understand us. The bats don't care that it's to the death, they're bats. And now we got some ghosts coming in. The ghosts are funny because their attack pattern seems to be this thing where they just get big. Alright. Okay guys, before I get too far, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the video because I just updated the drivers for my Avermedia Game Capture, or Avermedia Live Gamer HD and I want to make sure this all looks and sounds as good as I need it to be for my playthrough. So I'll connect with you in just a second. Alright, welcome back guys. Everything is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. And we'll pick up where we left off. I'm trying to figure out which... Uh, I think I need to take the middle passage through the wall. Yes, okay, there's a trap right here. You guys can see that right there? You can even click on it. It says Caltrops. There's a dragon up there, but I don't think we need any of the treasure behind that dragon. Let's see what our uh, walkthrough tells us to do. It says, don't bother with the switch. Go down past the door and go right through another wall. Okay, hopefully no one passes out as we walk over this. Past the door, go right through another wall. This one, maybe? Booyah. Ooh, not too tough. 
go up to the closed door, cast telekinesis on the switch to open the door, and boom. That's it, guys. Easy mode when you got to walk through, obviously. Okay, are you guys done flopping around? Oh wait, the gazer is still alive. Those things can hit hard, those green things. Oh shoot. I think I need to tell them to leave. Wait. Okay, I think I can bring them up here. Alright. But I need to leave the party right here if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. It says to cast Telekinesis. Another necessary spell to beat the game. Alright, let's save it. Just in case I walk past the point where I'm supposed to get rid of my, uh... I actually want to save that as to seat 3. Do not go. You will surely die. The Guardian is telling us not to go in. I, I think I will go in. Okay. Let's open this up. This is where I need to tell my party to stay here, I believe. And this is where it's annoying that they always ask me twice. Whoops. No, I don't need heal. I almost forget that she has heal. Watch Shamino though, he doesn't bother. Yep, see, he doesn't ask twice. Thank you, Shamino. Wait here. And let me make sure I have the ring on. I think I already do. Ethereal ring. Yes, I do. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice try. It didn't work. Alright, you ready for this? Okay, see this big giant demon? You can use this dude to kill it, I believe. Booyah! Instant death. Double click on the cube. Bam! Haha, <laughs> sucker. Then pick up the prism. And I always double check that it's in my inventory because you will need it. Need it, need it. If you don't have it, you can't complete the game. If you lose it, and don't know where you lost it, you're screwed. The only way to complete the game at that point is to use a cheat. That's the only time where it's helpful, guys, to know about the cheats in the game. Because if you do get screwed over, if a quest bug, you know, if a quest bug ends up breaking your game, it can be useful at times to just kind of skip around the quest and grab the item. It sucks that you have to do it that way, but occasionally that's what old games required you to do. And apparently not just old games either, because uh, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas was like that for me. I I couldn't complete it on the Xbox 360. It corrupted save files and all sorts of nasty stuff. Well, you know what? Wait. Don't come in here. Okay. Let's get them to join back up. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to ask him his name. And... Shamino. And that'll be it. Okay, I think I got everyone, right? Yes. Now, I believe we can head back somewhere else. We don't need to hang out here anymore. Alright. Now we need to go back to Nicodemus. Uh, where was Nicodemus? Was he up in U? Yeah, I think he was in U, wasn't he? So let's get back up there. Oh, shoot. Our carpet is just outside the cave. On an island. So we don't want to teleport out. Let's try to backtrack, shall we? I want to get back to the magic carpet. I don't want to lose that yet. Though if you know what you're doing, guys, using the mark and recall spells, it's easy to get around. Come on. I'm out of combat. Let's go. Speed up the movement, please. It's still stuck in combat mode. There we go. Those fields right there are useless because you can just walk right past them. Dooch, 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 little disco dance right there. Or something, I don't know what they were doing. Struck by lightning inside a cave. Don't know how that happens. Here's some slimes. Oh, I hate slimes so much. I hate slimes. Forget it. We're just gonna run. Let's 
slimes are capable of, uh... Ah, uh, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, reproducing somehow, special kind of reproduction where they can just split into other slimes. Can't think of what it is. Um, they're following me endlessly. This is getting annoying. They just won't give up. The nice thing is I can tell how to get back for the most part because you just follow the, uh, open doors. The doors I opened on my way in. Oh shoot! Jana needs, uh, health. Whoops. I can't do it during combat though. Okay, now I'm gonna do it right now. What the heck? There we go. Heal. Yes. Heal. Oh, she can't heal herself? Well, then heal Sparky. I guess I'll have to heal her. What? How did that fail? That, that's, that's baloney right there. That's garbage. That's not. Alright, let's finish these slimes off. They're getting on my nerves. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, guys, we're not going back up there. Let's go. Uh, Janna? She's frozen. Let's see if this will take care of it. Nope. Hope that's not wasting reagents. Awaken? Nope. I forget what that's called. She Oh, paralyzed. I think it's paralyzed. Yeah, she's been paralyzed. Oh, that's a really useful spell right there, guys. Protect all. Basically gives you, like, a shield. What about Dispel Field? Would that work? Probably not. No. Like, maybe I just have to wait it out. There we go. She's back. Shamino? What's up, dude? Come on, bro. Let's go. As I said before, if any of your party members get like caught up on some of the environment. The good news is they will oh shoot. Gotta be careful here. Well they're getting hit, but they're sure not taking much damage. Harpies are not nice. Okay. We're almost out of here guys. We are almost out of here. Very close now. Just around the corner. As I said, if your party members get hung up on the environment, you can just keep on going. Don't worry about them, and they'll eventually just like come running out of nowhere and rejoin your party. So you don't have to worry about them. You don't have to worry about them not sitting down on your magic carpet, though. Have a seat, Jana. Come on, Jana, you're holding up the shell. Who's in? Is someone still in there? Who do we not have? Oh, we have everyone. Alright, so that takes care of that. Now we need to go to Nicodemus, who is up here, I believe. And I think we can actually go east and wrap around to this side, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go northeast. And I've probably, in a previous playthrough, um, not taken advantage of that, the wrap around, and, and gone the long way. Uh, we need to start getting going north big time. This whole peninsula right here has, like, nothing of much significance. It's just for exploration purposes. Ooh, but there sure are a lot of spiders. Nasty big ones, too. Speaking of which, I found uh, two black widows uh, in my flower bed. My wife and I were working on some of the flowers, and uh, we saw this big nasty black spider, and uh, took a look at it, and sure enough, it had the trademark red hourglass underneath it. This is not... Nicodemus place. I don't know why I thought it was. Oh, but I will borrow those potions. Thank you. Your donations to the cause of the Avatar are much appreciated. Remember guys, this is not Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. You do not have to be a good guy. The game doesn't really track anything other than the fact that if you steal in front of a party member, they may 
be like, oh, you can't do that, that's terrible, and then they might wander off and leave you. And, but that's the only punishment. You'll have to go back and get them later. After a while, they forgive you. What's frustrating is if they do it somewhere and, like, they have plot necessary items of yours. That can be frustrating. Okay. So he should be sane now. I would be most happy to enchant the hourglass. After freeing the ether, I am most indebted to thee. Let me see it. That should do it. He hands the hourglass back to you. I have not spoken to the Time Lord in months. How old is the old how is the old codger? Give him my regards. Tell him I miss our Knights Bridge games. It is a life-size board game. I have a book around here somewhere which contains the rules. Yes, I just enchanted it. Thank you. I do appreciate that. There's a magic wand. Magician's wand. Can I borrow that? Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm going to keep it anyway. Alright, so now I believe we can go get the sphere. I believe we can make it through that red moon gate, I think. Oh, shoot, you know what? I need to set back down. Remember we set a recall spell at the uh, dungeon? I think it was the green one. All we need to do now is set a recall spell here as well. Uh, let's see. Alright, Sparky, give me the uh, red one. It's Christmas. Alright. So, let's set... Oops, wrong way. Oops. I hope that didn't waste my my uh, reagents. Everything has a way of blocking everything else in this game. Okay. We set the red one. Off to kill the sphere generator. You can't really kill it. It's an inanimate object. But we are going to use... Recall on the green one, then we'll recall back here to get our magic carpet. This should take us directly into the sphere. Yes. Now, I wonder if I can take my party in there. I think we can just walk in there because I have the enchanted hourglass. Oh, yay! I love these. Oh, that's not good. Speaking of which, I should make sure I'm up to snuff on my health. Oops. And I want to make sure Sparky doesn't die. Okay, we'll save it here. That's the same one. And if anything happens, we can just reload our game. Save abuse. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use a cheat for this one as well, guys. I've played through it so many times. You know, there's that thing in the center that's blinking. Red, red, yellow. Red, blue, blue, red. Red, blue, blue, red. Red, blue, blue, red. Ha ha ha! How do you like that, guys? How do you like that? The Guardian gave you the answer inside the generator itself, and booyah, it blows up, but do not leave without picking up the spear. The sphere, or the prism. Blocked? Better not be blocked. There we go, and as always, guys, double check that you have these plot critical items. If it seems like a plot critical item, double check that it's in your inventory. You do not want to find that your, your backpack was full and it ended up placing it on the ground next to you, and you teleport out. And yeah, that sucks. That sucks when that happens. Trust me, guys. It has happened to me many times in playthroughs. Let's recall to the redstone. And there's... No. No. You're kidding me. That sucks. Shoot. Well. We still have help. Um... Oh, I don't have any magic. That's the problem. Okay. Well, that could be a problem. I don't know if any of us have a bedroll. Hmm. 
And without a bedroll, we have no way for me to... Yes, there we go. Okay. Let's sleep for eight hours. Um... I've got no magic back from that? What? Let's try another eight hours. I thought that restored magic. Apparently it doesn't. That's news to me. Okay, so let's hope that we have a potion that restores it, because otherwise we are screwed, guys. The green one's poison, I do believe. Let's feed everybody. Maybe that'll help. I'll try relaxing after I've eaten. I I'm surprised. I, I remember that uh, restoring uh, magic in health. There we go. It was the food. I never knew that. I guess I never tried resting and needing food at the same time. Okay, great. So, we should be able to use the recall spell then. Alright, no worries guys, just a minor hiccup. <laughs> Apparently more than a minor hiccup. That doesn't want to work, does it? Did I miss it? Okay, let's try... Uh, help. Um, nothing wants... Maybe the field in there? I can't figure out why that's not working. Okay, let's try down here now. That seems strange. Am I out of reagents for everything? I thought these were reagent free. Apparently not. That's so strange. I'm not used to that happening. Well, guys, I got another uh, thing I hope will work. Uh oh. Can I use the Orb of the Moons? I can't, can I? No. Let's try the... Okay. Oh, it's disabled the moon gates. That only hope of leaving Britannia at the conclusion of that quest is to use the Guardian's own vehicle. The Guardian's followers are building Black Gate of Black Rock and will be using magic and natural elements to activate it. The Guardian plans to enter Britannia during the upcoming astronomical alignment, which is imminent. That is the only time when the elements will work well enough for the Black Gate to be permeable and active. That will need a device which has the ability to vanquish Black Rock, which is the wand we got from Rudyum. If thou hast not already encountered such a device, thou canst find someone to help thee in the workshop of Rudyon the Mage in Cove. Before thou canst locate the Black Gate, there is one more generator which must be destroyed. It is a device used to transmit the Guardian's voice to his followers and charm them into obeying his wishes. Look in the area near Serpent's Hold for a dungeon containing this generator. It is most likely shaped like a cube. It could very well be on the Fellowship's island east of Serpent's Hold. When thou hast completed this task, concentrate thy efforts in Buccaneer's Den. Thou mayest find clues there as to the location of the Black Gate. Shouldst thou wish to speak with me again, so please the hourglass. Goodbye. How odd. <laughs> it worked before. It worked before. It worked before. Okay, so now we can't use the moon gate. I can't use the recall spell, and I can't use the help spell. I, wow, I'm screwed. I'm really screwed. Well... Um, I'm trying to think of a faster way to get out of it. I believe we're, what, here, guys? We're in this dungeon? So if we ran out of here, we'd have to run all the way up back here to get it. That may be it, guys. We may have to make a full trek back. But if you remember, this dungeon's not very friendly either. 
Wow. This is disappointing. We're going to have to hoof it manually. Ooh, I got by those guys. They didn't attack. Sweet. Oh, so now they slow me down. I gotta figure out if those are reagents I'm missing, and whatever reagent is, I gotta go buy more. Oh shoot, this is... Oh, wait a minute though. Uh, I think I already have that reagent, but maybe I can find some other reagents here that... Oh no, that's, that doesn't look like... It. Is it garlic? Am I missing garlic? Reagents? No, no, no reagents. Darn it. Well... This didn't help. Well, I could use that to take me back to the Isle of Fire, but then I'd really be screwed, because I think there's no way off of it then. If I'm not mistaken, I'd be stuck. Yeah, I would be if I if I would travel to the Isle of Fire right now. I don't think there'd be any way off of that. That would legitimately break my game. I'd be stuck on an island. No way off. Okay. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Don't kill me. Thank goodness I made it out of that alive. That could have been nasty. Alright. We're out. Uh, I doubt it'll work now, but... Oh well, I tried. Okay, so the Orb of the Moons won't work, so we got no choice but to hoof it. Uh, we're right here, and we need to make it up there. That shouldn't take too long. <coughs> Still suffering from my allergies, but... Thanks to some allergy medicine, I'm doing a lot better. I'm able to breathe through both nostrils. And as I mentioned before, guys, if you've never suffered from allergies, you have no idea what it's like. Because having a cold for a couple days and having your nose stuffy for a couple days of a cold, no. It, it, it is not the same thing as having severe allergies. Because not being able to breathe through your nose for a couple days is a minor annoyance. Not being able to breathe through your nose for weeks... Yeah, that's a much bigger deal. For possibly even months. I, some people have severe allergies so bad to all sorts of things that they suffer from allergies almost year long. And that's what I had when I was uh, younger. Fortunately, now it's it's let up quite a bit. It's much easier for me to get through allergies now than it was before. That's for sure. Ooh, what's on this? What's on this altar? Mm, there are some goodies here, but I don't know if there's anything I can use at the moment. Based on my layout. No. Okay. Wait. One more thing to check. Nope. Okay. See, we're almost there, guys. It doesn't take, take so long. No fast travel in this game. you got to actually use something. And you can run out of it, as you apparently noticed. Of course, the, one of the other solutions could have been to die. Find a way to die. Just kill myself, not the rest of my party. And then I'll be teleported back to... Shoot, how do I get around? Let's go down south. Teleport it back to pause. You always recover at that little uh, clinic and pause if you die. Now, I think if your party members die, they stay wherever they're at. So that you could really get screwed over on that. Alright, so we just need to head south and we're just about there. There, yeah, it wasn't so bad, was it, guys? See? Could have been a lot worse. Let's save it while we can. Alright, now we need to take care of the other generator, which requires us to get an item before we can actually take care of it. Alright guys, we'll pick it up when we head to the next generator. Until then, later. <laughs>